done. All right, let's take a look. What's up? Sure, why not? Despite the age of this crypt, these coffins appear to be in near perfect condition. These are ghouls. I'm about to die. I don't really like the idea of dying again. <sighs> but there's no place... Alright, I'm gonna try going back over here and seeing if it'll allow me to rest. So, I'm gonna bribe my way past, instead of having to fight everybody. And I'm pretty sure I've got enough money for that. Yeah, 50 is nothing compared to what I have right now. Besides, I could probably use a bit of time to try and figure out where the way back up is, so that I can actually talk to people and all that. Now, where was that? Oh, okay. Let's see if you've got anything interesting. Talk to Radine. The w this wall looks like it is ready to collapse at any moment. The stones are loose and it is riddled with holes. You see a burly man with a slack jaw. The spark of intelligence is, in his eyes, little more than a brief flare. Who are you? He blinks at you. Who are you? Ojo. Okay, Ojo. I had some questions. What are you doing? Ojo talk. He stops abruptly and begins massaging his hand. There is a small inflamed scab in his skin. As he watched, he peels the scab away again. What happened to your hand? Bit. Who bit you, Ojo? Ojo looks toward one of the walls and then turns back to you, eyes narrowed in it, the corner of his mouth twitching. Who are you? You leave. Okay, I better just back away now before this gets ugly. Done. I'm gone. I'm not sure I really want to fight anyone right now. I'll go mess with them later. All right. Hmm. Maybe I can talk to. <sighs> Maybe I can rest in the seamstress's house. Oh, of course I can't. Is there anywhere I can rest? Done. Doesn't seem to be much to this area. Done. Unless... No, not much to this area. All right. Perhaps I can ask her to rest? Let's find out. Can I rest here? Marta home. Marta sleeps here. You can slip if you want, yes. I don't think Marta have a problem. Does you, Marta? Alright, let's rest up. And of course, Morty isn't completely rested. Oh well. Guess I can rest a few more hours. Yeah, that should do. I'm gone. I wonder if Morty regenerates slower than me. Hard to say. Alright, now, where would the exit to this place be? I wonder what Quinn's shop has. Maybe I can get something to deal with those were rats. You see it? Okay. You see a short, fat faced man who is covered in filth and grime. He smells bad and his teeth are rotten. He wheezes as he looks you up and down and says, I'm Quint. You new? Yes. He looks at you suspiciously. You selling or trading? Heh. <laughs> yes. His eyes narrow even further. Dealing, huh? With me? Or everybody, Burke? Which? Eh? With you. Just me? Me? Huh. <laughs> yes, just with you. That's so, huh? Let's deal, huh? All right. Hmm. Battle Axe of Quality. 2 to 9. 
Oh, not bad. High quality sledgehammer too. One to ten, nice. I don't know how that compares to the one I've got. And a bunch of charms as well. I might need to buy a bunch of the angleless eye. What's this? Plus wonder armor class for missile minus one. Detect traps go bonus. Interesting. I don't think I can detect traps, but at first glance, this glass eye seems a poor replacement for a real one. However, when inserted into an empty eye socket facing inwards, its power awakens. Although the eye dulls the wearer to color and sights, it increases his awareness of angles and shapes, giving the wearer greater accuracy with weapons and giving him a greater chance of dodging incoming missile attacks. Furthermore, mechanical traps stand out to the wearer's vision, making it easier to spot and disarm them. The user becomes more vulnerable to crushing attacks, however. Some of the fragility of the glass eye seems to be transferred to its wearer. Huh. Okay, so I can use this instead of my to raise dead skill. Oh yeah, I'll need to get rid of some stuff. Alright then. Don't need a bunch of this stuff. Can finally get rid of some things. Alright, Morty, let's see what you have that I can get rid of. Don't want to get rid of the bracelet until I've identified it. Don't want to get a, rid of a lot of stuff until I've identified it. Let's buy both of those. Actually, let's buy more than one of them. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need them. It's a cranium rat char. Oh, okay. And just for myself, I think I'll take the Battle Axe of Quality. Now. Definitely gonna be better than the Antler Axe. Let's hang on to it just in case. Alright, that takes a bit of a load off. Don't think it gets rid of everything that I need, but... Yeah, it should do for now. Besides, most of the unidentified stuff... Actually, hmm... Huh. That isn't unidentified. Maybe I should still sell that. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of it. Okay, that taken care of. What next? It's over that way. Nothing I can get to, of course. How do I get out of this area? Why do I get the feeling it's through the catacombs? Or through one of these houses. Worth a look, I suppose. You see a ragged... Okay. Anything interesting? Looks like nothing interesting, then. That's disappointing. It's gonna take me a while to figure things out, isn't it? Alright, here goes nothing. What's the worst that can happen, right? We all die? Probably. Okay, let's get moving. Hopefully everything- well, actually everything probably has respawned, knowing my luck. Let's get going. Surprised that this is dead ending. This doesn't look like it does, though. Oh, zombies. Okay. Should be easy pickings, though. Out of curiosity. Okay, I'm close to another level. Cool. Letting me 
This sandy-haired collector's corpse is covered with nasty bites. The dead man's neck still rides, as if it were trying to twist itself off his body. Hmm, detonation. Ooh, that could be dangerous, but it seems like I've been able to handle some of them anyway. If it's just undead, I think I'll be alright. Oh, I don't have any control. Oh, hello. This is odd. Stop! Thou have come too far, traveler, and trespassed into the dead nations, realm of the Silent King. Will thou submit peacefully? Submit to what? Tis the will of the Silent King that all who pass the gates into our nation become prisoners of his land. Will thou submit? Come then, we shall show thee to the chapel. Know this, thou shalt be free to wander these halls, but not to leave the catacombs. Thou shalt be a prisoner here until thy death. Should thou later arise as we have, thou shalt be free. Praise the Silent King, his will be done. Updated my journal. Okay. Ah, another member of the living. Most are slain by the ghouls this far into the catacombs. You are fortunate. You're Suego, from the mortuary. What are you doing here? Your memory serves you well. I am no longer stationed in the mortuary. Instead, I have become a missionary in these parts. But I thought I'd killed you. The wound you struck was not a mortal one. I recovered quickly, and found that I would like to distance myself from the mortuary. Fine, then. What are the dust men doing here? I am the only one. I came to these catacombs after hearing rumors of undead that were aware in these parts. I hope to save them. Save them? Yes, passion ties them to this false life. I hope I can teach them to forsake these passions and leave this false life behind and reach true death. Why have I been made a prisoner here? I do not know. Ask some of the citizens here. Where am I? Missionary. Okay, fair enough. A moment of your time before you go. Do not attack any of the undead here in the catacombs. They will not harm you so long as you remain peaceful. Should you prove hostile, they will defend themselves, and there are... many of them. Lastly, you may return here if you need to rest. Alright, that's good. Wish I had known that. Okay, so... I need to find some way of getting out of here, but... How do I do that? What? Hmm, I have a feeling I'm gonna need to confront this silent king about this. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Now, let's see, what's the quest I need to do? Okay. I'm trying to remember where that's gonna be. Guess I'll find out before too long. Let's go a wandering. The iron pew looks exceptionally uncomfortable. Hmm, maybe you can give me some answers. The skeleton wears what appears to be an ancient priest's robe, heavy and ornate. It carries a large, impressive stave, which is, ca which is capped with intricately carved horns, dangling pendants, and a gilded skull. The skeleton, its eyes aglow like two burning embers, looks you over, but makes no reply. Are you the Silent King? It shakes its head, turning with an eerie grace and pointing eastward, and then turns to you once more. Are you Hargrim? It nods solemnly, the pendant suspended from its stave tinkling softly. There is something disquiet about its silence piercing the gaze. Why have I been made a prisoner? Tis the will of the Silent King. The living who are caught here are made to languish in his halls until they join the quiet ones. Could he be convinced to allow otherwise? After a short silence, its jaw creaks open. Tis doubtful, but perhaps. Mysterious are the ways of the Silent King. May I speak with him? It holds up his bony palm. It holds up a bony palm. With a creaky, gr aching groan and a puff of dust, it jo its jaws open to speak. No. Its voice, deep and resonant, echoes for a long while into the vaulted chamber. But why not? Its voice booms throughout the chamber, 
No living creature may pass the doors that lead to his throne room, nor would I allow thee an audience even if such a thing were possible. Thou shalt not see him. But I need his permission to leave. It holds up his palm. No, by the power of the Silent King, thou shalt not leave this place. What can I do to convince you? Firstly, I would know why I, thou art here. I'm looking for something. A small bronze sphere. It shakes its head. I have, I have seen no such thing. Why dost thou seek this object? For a man named Farad. The skeleton draws back. It looks up in a way, as if peering at the surface. Blood still beats in his black, worm-ridden heart. The wheezing sack of flesh still sends his pack into our homes to raid and pillage. It faces you once more. Thou wert wrong to come here. We tolerate no such desecrators within our borders. But I'm not of his pack. Why, then, art thou here, invading our homes on a fetch and carry for that miserable soul? Hmm. I'm finding this fear for him in return for information I need. There is no other loyalty between us. It looks you over carefully, tapping its chin with a bony finger. Thou dost not seem the sort to follow such a man. Perhaps you seek the truth. Perhaps your presence here is tolerable. Good, I had other questions. Let me ask you of something in particular. Who? Tell me about Suego. He tries to convince him to give up this pretense of life, as he calls it, and pass into the true death. He claims that it is our passions that anchor us to this life, and we must let go of them and our duty. He wants us to die. Go on. Updated my journal. Some listen to his words, but none have chosen to surrender themselves to his belief. Those that did would be forever silenced. Our numbers would dwindle, and all that we have here would be destroyed by what surrounds us. Suego so may believe he is doing right. But it is, but is in truth, causing great harm. Why do you allow him to stay? We cannot force him to leave. He knows we cannot harm him. The dead truce. No one dead may endure a dustman unless first attacked. Also, the Silent King wishes no slaughter in his halls. Tell me of yourself. It indicates its staves and robes. I am called Harigrim. I am the high priest of the citizens here. I spread the word of the Silent King to his followers. How did you come to be here? I passed away long ago, and found that beyond death lies only oblivion. Fortunately, I was able to step back at the last moment from the brink. Step back? Yes, I awoke here. I wandered the catacombs for untold days before stumbling into the throne of my lord, the Silent King. He spoke to me, and from that fated meeting the dead nations was born. You mentioned followers. Who else is here? We, the skeletons, other undead, zombies and ghouls. They were once shadows, but they have long since fled. Sometimes, one of living spends the last of its days here. Also, far to the east lies many cranium rats. Tell me of your kind. We tend to the quiet ones, the true dead, and obey the word of the Silent King. Our work here has gone on for centuries. Tell me about the Silent King, our lord and vision, he who makes the law and protects us. That would do well to start no trouble here, stranger. For the Silent King's eye is everywhere, and his justice swift. Why is he called the Silent King? He speaks no more than necessary to guide us. Praise to the Silent King. There are other questions I could probably ask, but I don't want to prod too deeply. The pulpit is made of old wood, slowly falling with harp into the damp air of the catacombs. Alright, I want to check something real quick. Hang on a moment. Hmm. Stunned. More scrolls. Wonder what could possibly be gained from all this. I really wish I had a ma magic user now. Let's see if there's anything else around here. Okay, it doesn't look like it. But, how do I get out? At least without banging down the door and beating every undead to a pulp. Hmm. I almost wish I could force entry to the Silent King, wherever he is. Might right. be possible, actually. But I'm not entirely sure how he would right. go about doing that. I'm gone. Done. 
What's in here? The iron trap door is rusted shut. There's no way it'll open. Done. Hmm. This musty smelling female zombie looks exceptionally old, almost mummified. Her skin has the appearance of moldery, and gray green leather, and one of her eyes has fallen out, leaving a dark pit in her face. Her voice is slow and thick. G -g greetings. She indicates herself and speaks again. Still, so still, Murray. It sounds as if her vocal cords are festering away in some soppy mess at the base of her throat. Stay, Mary. I have some questions. I need to speak with the Silent King. Can you help me? I can't understand. Can you speak any more clearly? Hmm. Where am I? Let's see if I can get anything out of you. Hmm. Huh. I wonder if I could help her at all. I'm not sure. Guess we'll find out before too long. I'm gone. Doubtful skeleton. There is no meat left on the bones of this ancient animated corpse. Only a few colored rags, which seem to serve more as decoration than clothing. It is staring at the floor, shaking its head and tapping its chin thoughtfully. It makes no response, apparently lost in thought. It looks up, and, seeing you, sighs with a small puff of dust. I have much on my mind, and would prefer to be left alone. Is there something I could help you with? No, I have a difficult decision to make. Tis all. What decision is that? Updated my journal. To continue my life here, or to die. To finally pass into the true death I've been told of. I see no reason why you should give up your life. I shall take thy word into consideration. Now, I ask thee to leave me to my thoughts. Oops, that's not the button I wanted. Okay, so it looks like I'm not getting anything out of that. All right. Hmm. Riddling skeleton. This skeleton is shaking its head and giggling to itself. It guffaws and snorts occasionally, biting down on its bony hand to stop itself. It is old enough so that no meat is left on its bones, only a few colored rags. Greetings, yes! It sniggers, puffs of dust flying forth with each breath. Twould do thee well to seek answers from another, or for I have no interest in hearing thy questions. I know, terribly rude, but thou shalt have to forgive me this. Very well. Wait, what was it that she said? The rot stink of this ancient-looking ghoul woman is nauseating, even from a distance. Her gray-green skin is infested with tomb rot and festering sores, and her fingers, even capped by a long curved talon, are covered in dried blood and filth. Her hair, thick with scuttling insects and worms, hangs to her knees. It hides nearly all her face in shadow, save for a fanged feral grin and a lolling gray tongue. Tss, what have we here? Some pretty meat, I a little tough gristle. Sharpen me teeth on your bone and grow fat on your marrow, hmm? I had some questions. Who are you to come before me like a feast? Answer a cost. I have no name. Then neither does a cost. I call ye blooded one. Pray ye still have a name and a will before I tear ye apart. Blooded one? Meet people to eat. Her yellow eyes peers intently at you through her ragged white hair. Ye. Go, pester a cost while ye still live, meat. Have you seen a small bronze sphere anywhere? A cost shakes her head, lice dropping from her long white hair as it sways about. A cost opened many coffins, many tombs, never seen such a thing. Hmm. We fight, win and feed. Blooded ones such as ye become our food in the end. Ravenous hungers we have, burn the stomach, never full, we hunger all the time, and here ye are. Hurry up, die, and be still. How did you come to be here? Wander catacombs, hunt and kill, crack open crypt and coffin, eat bone and dead flesh. Come here. Here, strange place, I cast stay among the weak, marrow-filled bones and herd of dead flesh. 
can make noise, talk to them, and they talk back. So why have you not killed and eaten these undead, then? Not easy prey. They are not still like other bone and dead flesh are. They fight as cat pack and are many of them. Difficult to beat both. Weak or separate, together strong. Almost strong as a cast. So can wait. What is it you wait for? Wait for weakness, yes. Wait to see how strong Silent King is, if he's stronger than a cast. Wait for a herd of dead flesh to stop following marrow-filled bones. What will you do then? I my journal. Would eat all. Hungry, kill all small blood fur things. Eat all rag-blooded beings in village eat. Catacombs are full of feasts. Hungry are we. Hunt and eat. As she talks, she becomes more agitated, gnashing her teeth and spraying spittle. Kill them all, a cast would. Tear and rend, shred the herd of dead flesh, stupid, stupid cattle. Slow and weak, fit only to eat and rend and tear. Bark and snap the weak bones. Suck the marrow from their brittle bones. Kill and eat them all. A cast wants them to be quiet, still. Dead, dead, not talk and walk. Die and be still so that it can be eaten. Caught between the teeth. Crack their skulls to suck forth their brain meat. Then pull open their ribcage and devour the soft parts past their skin. A cast smashes a clawed fist into the ground, shattering the tiles in her rage. I don't know if I should keep going, but let's keep going. Hate them! Tell a cop... Us, no, do not hunt the blooded man who scavenge and creep in the tombs. Do not kill blooded rats. Leave them be. Do not hunt. Do not eat. Kill them all and silence them. She suddenly falls silent, her rage finally spent. The last echoes of her screaming dying away in the darkness. Give me things of value and I will help you. A cast have nothing to give you except your life not eat. Hmm. What does this meat ask about? Stale Mary. Fleshy food. Not strong like a cast. Weak dead flesh woman. Suego. Pale blooded one who sleeps in dust and smells like blooded rat. He first I heat. He smells of blooded rat? Psst. But good eat him anyway. He stink of dust but right blood and meat behind his pale skin. Good to eat. What's a blooded rat? Go squeak squeak. Run into dark small tunnels when chased, hard to catch. Snacks hard to get, warm flesh, easy crunch in teeth. Many of them elsewhere, we go kill them and eat them all. Hunger go away with so many in belly. Always watching us with red juicy eyes and dark want to eat them. The Silent King. Unseen King, not silent. He say, we do. Marrow stuffed bones and herd of dead flesh obey him, no question. I cast not see, I cast only hear. One day I shall meet this one, meet this one. Yes, I cast strong and silent one weak. We shall see who master, yes. Who else inhabits this place? Tell me of your own kind. We are the blighted ones, yes. I cast in her lovely ghouls, her children, always hungry. What are you doing? Okay. That gets back into that path. Hargrim. Marrow? Old Marrow, but is Marrow. Uh, kill him. Kill all bone the bones if not for the weak bones and herd of dead flesh. The bones, the skeletons. Weak. Tired too many centuries. Too brittle. Weak. Dead don't fear, but... Dead don't fear, but the bones do. Afraid to die and be fed upon by a cast in the blighted ones. Afraid to die? We dead now! Fear is something blooded ones stink of, not dead ones! Oh dear. Tell me about... let's see. Tell me about the herd of dead flesh. Make noises like blooded cattle and stink of rotted sweet stale juice. A cast licks her lips, sucking spittle between her teeth. She frowns, then raises her arms and starts shambling about. Go, mm, mm, most times, stumble, shamble, and work. Stupid fools, stupid half brain meat people. Hmm, I was hoping to start some kind of revolt, but I guess that's not going to happen. Well, I don't know, maybe. I doubt this is going to let me out, even if I force the door open. Actually, I might be able to force the door open. What's down this way? All right. Hmm. No, I probably shouldn't try and force anything. At least not yet. I don't want to make my move just yet. I need to figure out what that move is, first of all.